Welcome back to Character Select. Dave Hedra back for more Breath of Fire 4. Hmm, who's this tall drink of water? So, the time hath come. Oh no, it's super danger. <laughs> Yes, my lord. Majesty. Twould appear that something is amiss. Where are the court where are the courtiers? And the priests? Why is there not a single voice raised in greeting at thy return? Tis not of import, they are mortals. Were we to attempt to understand their mind, we should spend an eternity. There be more pressing matters to attend to. Canst thou not sense it? This presence. Tis far, it's still slumbering. But tis what we have sought lo these many ages. Wanku, guard our place of rest, as you wish, sire. <laughs> Majesty, whither art thou going? We shall go to our capital, as was planned. We shall meet at the appointed place when the time hath come. Alright. So this is a dude. Uh, okay. Can you not go down the- oh. I don't think we can get that. I don't think we want to get that for various reasons. Alright, so you want to go down the stairs. Oh, Monku is now stoned. Cool. Yeah, we don't want to- don't grab that. Trust me on this one. Does it say so? Yes, it does. So you want to go... That way. Keep going that way. Uh, it says, oh. go up to the broken pillar to the north, then across the other broken pillars to the south. That broken pillar? Oh yeah, okay. That doesn't make any sense. Go up the broken pillar to the north, and then across the other broken pillars to the south. At the intersection, go west and follow the lighted path for a scene. This is very confusing. So there's nothing to be required? There's no item, no. There's a scene. But you can also just leave. Okay, so go back up the steps one level. Maybe. And then go north. Hmm. No, that doesn't make sense. Whatever, it's not that important. It's not necessary. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which way is down the north. Is it red or white? Red. North is always red.
Go up the broken pillar to the north. Like, that's the broken pillar, but you can't... Hmm. Oh, go down the stairs to the next area, so just leave to the west. Yep. Yeah, this is what they mean. Okay, sorry. Sorry, everybody. We are using a walkthrough just to make sure we don't miss items, but, you know... So go up the broken pillar to the north and then jump across the other pillars to the south. Like that. And then go west at the intersection. Yeah, there's no items to pick up here. Follow the lit path. Who goes there? What? What be you doing in this place? Huh? Who are you? They say a dragon or something's supposed to appear tonight. So we were told to watch this area. A dragon? That's right, not just any dragon either. They say it's the legendary Dragon of Doom, which will bring ruin to the Empire. And what be thy design for this dragon? We will destroy it, of course. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. Nothing can withstand the might of the Imperial Army. Thou believes thou canst do such a thing? Thou art but mere mortals. Thou dost not ken the power of that which you would destroy. This be a dragon. A dragon, tis force of nature unto itself. Thou mayest as well seek to fight a volcano or the very earth itself. Dragons doth give birth to thy kind. Grant thee life, and verily taketh it away. They are to thee as thou art to an insect in thy terms. They are gods. Wouldst thou fight a god? And then he made some fire because she was too close to it. <laughs> mm, roasted. Chicken. <laughs> well, those fuckers were roasted. Tis as I thought. It is not the nature of mortals to change their ways. Alright. Uh, go west to exit the area. Thank <laughs> you. 
That just goes back to the, the where the pillows were. Yeah, there's nothing to pick up as this guy yet. Go to the only place available to you. Um, just go south and just keep following the path. That's north. Oh yeah, this guy's called Fulu. And, Hedra, I know you like to grind, but you can't grind Fulu. He's already level 64 in a game where the max level is technically 50. <laughs> royal Sword, Royal Armor, Dragon Tear. Plus one hits has the same effect as Drain. Uh, blessed Armor used by Fulu. Blessed care means you are immune to death effects or high resistance versus death things. Yep. So nothing can instant kill you. And then completely protects where against status changes anyway. So, immune to everything. Obscenely powerful. And above the level cap. <laughs> no items, though. Let's see how powerful he is. That thing is big. And it does not matter. <laughs> and then when he's done, he just turns around and walks away. I fucking love it. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, you got a vitamin. Nice. And Arsh, 350, Sunny. Yep. It's Not a shame you already have the best weapon and armor in the game. Okay. Just keep following the path. If you can't follow the path, you went the wrong way, that's all. Oh no, it's another one! He didn't see what you did! Oh no! And... get that HP back. Or not. No, you have to use it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just, I just love, like, the calm turn and walk thing. It's so good. Hmm. Pardon my presumption, but I believe you are the God Emperor Fulu, yes? I have been expecting you. Ever since I saw the flames rising from the woods where I had placed my soldiers on watch. Thou sayest thou art waiting for us. Thou knowest of us and what we are, then. Yes, your majesty. You are the first emperor, Fu Lu. Who founded our great Fu Empire. Well? Wish I, I don't founded trust the him. <laughs> Wish I had founded the Fo Empire. I can go for some Fo right now. Anyway. Well, I don't trust him. Look at that face. You can't trust a man with a nose that big. No, I wouldn't trust Fu either. Why not? Because he's clean-shaven. <laughs> Where's your Manchu, <laughs> sir? Exactly. They need a Manchu <laughs> for his food. <laughs> and knowing this, 
thou wouldst greet us with malice in thine heart, and thine blade in hand. I am afraid times have changed, your majesty. Uh, so use special. Meditate. Astral. Because it's going to tell you to do it anyway. So yeah, 3 had the dragon gene system, which was super cool. This game doesn't. It has forms. Which isn't bad, but, you know, it was a disappointment after the flexibility of 3. Lucky strike. And they just use frost strike on it to kill it. It'll die. It'll die eventually. It's got 17,000 hit points. Good lord. Whatever you feel comfortable using. God, I forgot how fucking good this boss theme is. Oh no! Hedra, you took about 27 points of damage. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Gonna try this one, see how much it does. Mm hmm. Enough is the answer. Sixteen thousand XP. Ooh, and an ambrosia. Hot damn. Now we can ascend the, you know, plane of existence. <laughs> you appear tired, Majesty. It is to be expected, I suppose. You have just awoken from a long, long sleep. And you are not exactly complete, are you? Twould appear thou dost... Bleh, twould appear thou, thou dost mean not to fulfill thine duty, as thou art called upon to do by our promise. Alas, it is as you say, my lord. For now we would have you sleep once more. I would call thee foolish. But thou art mortal. Thou cannot go against thy nature. No more than a fish could walketh upon the firmament. Still, thou wilt find that our promises are not easily broken. Return then to thine master and tell him our words. Trying to buy time, are you, Majesty? Set fire to the trees. We must stop him before he recovers his full strength. That's a pretty good refire rate for fucking crossbows. Holy shit.
they would use fire against us. Indeed, planned well have they. Alright, go west. Life is peaceful there. Uh, and then go south at the intersection. What if I could? Go north. Just keep, well, just keep following the path. It's pretty obvious. Uh, go west. This is probably fine. How did you get uh, uh, As I recall, your majesty has a strong affinity to water, yes? And with your powers not fully returned, it is unlikely that you will be able to survive battle with my creations in this raging fire. We would know thy name, O cunning one. Yan, general of the Fu Lu uh, Imperial Army, at your service. <laughs> I don't want to take any chances. Find the body. Phew. Well, we managed to make it up, didn't we? It's just a little ways more to the, nor uh, to the town. I can't talk today. Good lord. Yeah, I'm trying to do some vocal warm ups. Vocal warm ups! Eh, it kind of helped. So, question marks are just random encounters. You can go to them. Well, I haven't seen a random encounter yet, so. Ooh. Also, uh, go to Ryu's special, actually. Have Nina attack. And then go to Ryu's special. Huh. Interesting. Well, it's probably not important. Did Nina seriously do 18 damage to that thing? Oh, that's bad. Maybe have Nina use magic? That's kind of what she's good at. Ooh, she's a healer in this one. Nice. Satan! <laughs> Satan! Satan! Rout my enemies! <laughs> Get thee behind me, Satan, and make my enemies afraid! Mmm, sweet, delicious heels. I'm not sure if this is just a right. Oh, it isn't. Oh, sweet. Go, go, go to that path to your right. The south path. Sweet. We can't do anything with it yet. But we can't, well, yeah, we don't have any fishing gear, but 
There's nothing else there. No, wrong fucking button. <laughs> I have to get the whole left, right. Welcome to Caravanserai. Well, Ryu, this is Sarai. Does anything look familiar? Does it bring any memories back? Well, if you go to if you go to like four houses down and then two to the right, there's a nice horror house. <laughs> don't ask me why I know that. I don't know why I know that. No? Well, I don't know what to say. Well, well do you know what to say? <laughs> but, um... I need to buy some things and get back to where my friend is, you know? Will you be alright by yourself, are you? Take a pick. Doesn't matter. Well, I guess that means we go our separate ways from here, then. Goodbye, Ryu. Hope you get your memory back soon. Thanks for the sword. Alright, uh... There's a fishing shop all the way to the east. Yeah, that guy. The Manillo. The Manillo. The fucking beefiest goddamn Manila you've ever seen. Who are you? If you're looking for something, you should try the tavern! Band flyer part. I mean, those looking for anything else? Scroll down. Yeah, there's the fishing stuff. I want to buy ten wooden rods and decuple wield. Don't spend all your money yet, though. Like. Keep 160. Alright. Um. Ooh, nice little fountain. Looking for a dude selling you, or that can sell you a lead ball. Hmm, hello. Look at that fucking animation. They say there's a ceasefire right now. Don't want to think about what would happen if the war started up again. Feel like Teal'c in that one episode of Stargate SG-1. <laughs> Going up to Canada, man, or going up to Canada because of the war. The war with Canada. No. Some people say they've seen Imperial troops poking around the town lately. Makes you wonder if they're reckoning to start another war. Had to stop trying to smash these people's worldly possessions. They don't have much. Look at this shitty little town. That is a tutorial. I've seen this before. It's called Vinit Ventrant Vinak. Throw in your voice. It's called You're a Weird Kid. Yeah, I'm pretty this sure she's just like a. I'm pretty oh, sure she's a tutorial. For tutorialing. Well, then you come to the right place because I got the answers! Yeah, see?
<sighs> Excuse me. If you're guarding during combat, sometimes you can learn attacks your enemies use. You can use attacks you've learned right away. The burn attack is really useful. You should learn it as soon as you can. So, in Breath of Fire 3, there was uh, an examine option that basically left you open for attack. In this game, they've consolidated it into guard. So if you're guarding and an enemy uses a skill that you can learn, you have a chance to learn it. And the chance is actually reasonably high for most of them. Let's say, for example, you ca one of you casts a fire spell and another person uses a wind spell. Those two spells will combine and create a more powerful spell. That's called a combo. Lots of things you can combine into a combo. Experiment, see what your capabilities are. I read that wrong. I did not read the lot. You did not read what? I did not read it as good luck. Oh. Oh, well then good fuck to you. <laughs> God damn it, Hedra. Making out this very helpful person to just be incredibly awful. <laughs> Let the buyer beware, eh? Except... Can't believe what you charge for this. You're a crook, you know that? Don't say that. What you see is what you get. Everything is at fair market price, I swear it. <laughs> There's a dude down there. Mm hmm? Well, sir, your glasses are weird and you're unhelpful. Moving on. You alright there, my dude? Yeah, it is easy to get lost if you're not careful. Try changing your point of view, which means there's something in this alleyway. And the only thing in this alleyway is that fucking dude. Never mind. And for anybody that's like, why is Hedra only doing it at like 90 degree turns? Because you can only do it at 90 degree turns. You came over the cliffs from the desert? How did you manage to do that without falling off the cliffs? Well, funny story. If you go there, you can see an imprint of a face. And I don't want to, you know call out my own exploits, but that was totally me. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here. It's just the end. This inn has three beds. What if you get four customers? There's a lot of places to sit and sleep. We got them. Sit and sleep. I guess. So where's the fucker that sells me his balls? <laughs> well, there's another merchant there that you could talk to. Maybe he has something. Literally just below you. That guy. Ooh, weapons! Ooh, leather armor. It gives you one more point of it. Oh, Jesus, that's garbage. What about the bandana? The bandana is better than upgrading the leather armor. We're gonna take this one because it's slow as horse pass anyway. Yep. Putting on a brass helm in the desert is probably not going to end poorly. Sure do. Alright, there is another part of the town. 
Yeah, through here. Okay. Oh, I hate this. Another reason that I'm not a fan of this game sometimes is these narrow alleyways. Turbo garbage. You're looking for a frog type man in a corner. And that's Nina. Well, that's a frog type a frog. person. And... Frog type person. Maybe in that corner back there? No. Hmm. He might also be in the bar. Oh, he's in the bar. Steal all their supplies! Or don't, because apparently you don't need food. All right, old dude. Whatever. <clears throat> what? Well, look for someone. What are you looking for? Your hand? Want me to help? Hmm? Unhelpful, my dude. <coughs> Hi. Frog dude in the corner. Hey, look, a frog dude in the corner. You want to buy a treasure? I'll give you a good deal. Only 158 zenny. Buy it. Thanks. Don't worry, it's for real. I wouldn't try to cheat anybody. You got a lead ball. Now pop it in your mouth and get lead poisoning. Uh, the person you want to talk to is the guy sitting at the bar eating. This your first time in Sarai? Yes. Nothing in this world is free. You want to ask something around here? Try buying him a drink or two. Look at the snap on that fucking beef when he eats it. So what was in this crater you found? It was a giant monster, I tell ya! Like nothing I ever seen before. It gave me the creeps. I had a bad feeling about this. This means trouble ahead. I just know it. Oh, that's the guy that was in the crater where Ryu was found. Huh? Same flare parts? Don't know nothing about that. In case you didn't notice, this is a tavern, not a store. I was on my way here, see? When I see this big crater in the ground. And you fell in and lost all your stuff, right? A lot of people smoking in this game. Holy crap. I'd keep my purse strings tight if I were you. There's nothing people around here wouldn't do to make a quick zenny or two. Huh? You wanna talk to me? Well, if you want something from someone, you gotta have the right attitude, don't you think? Okay, Lice Mood. You will? Well then, let's not waste any time. Do you want to read the instructions, Cedra? Make the bar patron happy by giving him food and drink. Giving him food increases his food and happy parameters. Giving him drink increases his drink and happy parameters. Be careful not to let his food and drink gauge fill up before his happy gauge. His happy gauge won't go up much if you give him the same things, so try to vary what food and drink you give him. Alright, so you can give him sausage, steak, beer, and wine. Delicious. Oh, his happy gauge is going down. Thank God Nina gave us his money. 
Why is the drink gauge still going up? That's so weird. What is this guy eating, like, a nine-course meal? What the fuck? <laughs> Boy, I'm full. That was good. All right, then. I'll tell you what you want to know. You're looking for something. Go talk to the information broker in front of the inn. And tell you where you'd find what you're looking for. Burp. I'm impressed. Don't mean many young folks as generous as you. Here, I got something for you. Ooh. Penicillin. Alright. Got some sweet, delicious antibiotics. Alright, yeah, so we gotta head to the end. Oop. Oh, I gotta talk to the smoking dog. Hear all kinds of things in places like this. If you're looking for something, might be a good idea to talk to the people in here. We'll tell you to go talk to another guy, but only after you spend like 50 bucks on him. Ryu, this person says that if we give him money, he'll buy us the parts we need for a sand flyer. <laughs> I don't know if we can really trust him. What? But why? Ryu, you found the parts we need? That's wonderful! Thank you so much! Excuse me, my friend Ryu was able to find the parts that I need, so I'm afraid we won't be needing your help anymore. I'm sorry to have troubled you. Huh? Oh, uh... Sure! <laughs> no problem! <laughs> so Ryu, have you been able to find out anything about yourself, or... Anyone who knows who you are? Oh, I see. Well then, how about we stay together after we get all the parts? I'll help you look, alright? Alright, let's go talk to an information broker near the inn. I haven't seen you around here before, passing through. Keep an eye on your purse if I were you. Lots of folks here that'll try and swindle you. You be careful. You walk around town looking like you want something. Someone's liable to try and sell it to you, even if they don't really have it. A lot of swindlers and con men around here. If you're looking for something, then try the tavern. So Nina just went to the first person that said, I can do stuff, just give me the money, and was like, that sounds great. She's naive as fuck. You still with me, Edra? Of course I am. I'm rotating stuff here. Okay. Just making sure. You were awfully quiet for that whole time. Nope. So you want to go uh, straight down. Keep going down to the left. And then there's that guy right there with the weird glasses. Remember... I have control as my push to talk about them. I... Hmm. Hmm. I'm an information broker. What do you want to know? Hmm. Well, I haven't got any of those. But I know you can get some. Interested? Hmm. Now we're talking business. You want information, you gotta pay for it. Doesn't ma if it doesn't offer... Bleh, if what you offer doesn't match how much the information's worth, deal's off. Got it? Mm -hmm. Guess the broker's price by entering an amount. Uh, if the amount is equal to his price, he'll give you the information, equal or greater than... You have four chances. Watch the broker's reaction to get clues as to how close your offer is. 
Offer him 123 zenny. How much are you willing to pay? Hmm. All right, that's good enough. What do you say? Payment received in full. If you're looking for sandflyer parts, you have to go to the black market. There's a man who sells parts behind the tavern. You have to find out the password to be able to meet him. Most traveling merchants will tell you if you ask them. I saw one leave, so I imagine he's... Hmm, he's probably still close by. Try looking on the highway outside town. Hmm, you know how to make a pretty good bargain. Here, take this. Ginseng! Right, <laughs> so I guess we leave town and go try to find that merchant. Don't stop there. Look for somewhere else. There you go. Those really don't stick around very long, do they? Let's hey, look, it's don't. a merchant. Curr, 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 curr. What do you want? What? Black market in Sarai? Huh. So you want to know the password to get in, huh? Well, I suppose I could tell you. But I got my own business to take care of, you know. Normally I charge people a thousand zenny for info like that. But I'll tell you for free. I mean, you did come all the way out here after me and all. Sweet. It's that password. Is easy. <laughs> the password is password. Get access to the black market shop in the Sarai Tavern. All right. Uh, next time on Character Select, we're going to go get involved in some criminal dealings. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And Hedra. Yes. I mean, you could just keep running around the desert, but, you know, you should probably go, go to that black market. You know, get some black marketed up. Rocks. <laughs>